On Sunday, the 23rd of October, at around 4.30 in the morning, officers from the Southern Precinct Command, to include firefighters from the PD Fire Station, responded to the PD Mayor's office relative to a structure fire. At around 6 in the morning, GFD firefighters were able to control the blaze, allowing both arson investigators and GPD officers to enter the building. An assessment was conducted in which it was noted that the fire was intentionally set within the office supply room, and that forced entry was noted into the office, to the east door which fronts the PD Church. It should be noted that miscellaneous power tools were missing from within the office. And the Guam Police Department, the Guam Fire Department, and the community of PD need your help in reference to this case. If you have any information about this crime or any other crime, please call Guam Crime Stoppers at 477-HELP. That's 477-4357. You can also send a text to 486-HELP. That's 486-4357. You can also submit information of a crime through our webpage at guam.crimestoppersweb.com or call the Guam Police Department at 475-8615-6 or 7. Guam Crime Stoppers wants to remind the public that we do not use caller ID and you do not have to leave your name. You can receive a cash reward of up to $1,000 if the information provided leads to the arrest and conviction for the person or persons responsible for this crime or any other crime. All right, welcome back, everybody. The biggest and busiest day of the year for island retailers is coming up. That, of course, is Black Friday. Officer Paul Tapao from the Guam Police Department is here, and we are talking about how you can be safe as you make your way to the stores. Welcome back. Hey, thanks. Thanks for having me back. Thank you again for All everything. Right. All right. Now, prior to being the Guam Crime Stoppers coordinator, of course, you worked in highway patrol for many, many years. Um, what do you see as far as Black Friday when s thousands of island residents are, you know, jamming the streets, trying to get to the store and secure themselves the best deal? Right. You're going to see heavy traffic. I mean, from 5 in the morning um, to as early as 4, actually, because people will be... Um, commuting and trying to get into the best position they can to be first in line. So you're going to see heavy traffic throughout the day. Of course, also on Thanksgiving, there's some major stores that are um, going to be having sales, you know, the pre-Black uh, Black Friday sales. So, you know, I mean, my experience at Highway Patrol, that was one of our busiest times, um, you know, leading into the holiday season. And it's expected because, of course, uh, Black Friday, all the major retail outlets are going to be having sales. So we're going to be expecting We've always been expecting uh, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, uh, traffic on, on the roadways. Mm -hmm. So what can we do to hopefully alleviate, you know, the amount of traffic congestion we get? And, and B, you know, we all have to work as one big community because, mm -hmm. you know, if we pitch in and our neighbors pitch in and everything like that, it makes the system flow smoother. I yeah. would assume the, uh, sh car sharing. Yeah, you know, um, uh, carpooling or, or you know, um, um, going to and from um, different destinations. But... You should always anticipate delays, uh, especially in the holiday season, and um, practice patience, you know. I'm, for one, still trying to learn patience when I drive, too, you know, especially with my family. But really anticipate delays because, when, you know, everybody's going to commute to Route 1 and Kmart and everybody. You're going to see traffic backed up coming from Tumon, uh, coming from Dedanon, coming from Tumoni. You know, anticipate delays, prepare for that, plan ahead, you know, plan accordingly. Do I want to go at 10 in the morning where everybody's going to be flocking before lunch or do I want to go mid-afternoon or towards the evening? Okay, but you always got to anticipate that and be patient because a lot of a lot of incidents where crashes occur within our roadways, it's because of impatience. You know, people are, are, are darting in and out of traffic, trying to trying to beat the light, trying to be first in line, trying to get that extra parking stall in Payless or the Micronesia Mall. So one of the two things, anticipate delays and of course be patient. All right. Now you've talked to us many times over the years about when it comes to bullying, you know, you tell kids, you know, if you're being bullied, report it to somebody and also most importantly, just walk away. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to traffic situations and everything, and if people, you know, people have a tendency to be, to be very tense and everything and they get road rage, what should you do if somebody, you know, rolls down their window and yells something at you or pe people start being silly on the road? Uh, you know, um, get the license plate, get the, the make, model, color and location, you know, um, practice safety to make sure you're um, not driving or commuting on the road, make sure on this side of the road or in the parking stall. And you can call the police, you can call our police stations and you can actually report harassment or if they, they do get aggressive on the road, we can actually file a reckless driving complaint. Okay, but you know, it, it's good that you practice patience and you allow, you know, that person to, to vent and everything and you don't fall into that. You don't, um, you know, go one over him and you become aggressive. And now you guys become both threats in the road because you guys are, are a conflict because you know, you're both fighting for parking stalls or you're both fighting for passing lane, but just practice patience. And of course, that makes the entire system uh, even more congested. Yeah, it's easier, you know, easier for people to commute in and out. All right. Thanks so much, Paul. Thank you. All right. Please stay tuned, everybody. We are back right after this.